So the direct impact on the economy on the back of this oil price is going to be purely in terms of the job loss that is going to be seen because of the because of the various companies either going through their bankruptcies because they are not able to sustain these low oil prices or because they are cutting down production enormously from their side because they're, they're not able to sell the oil from their end. Already we are seeing a huge uh, amount of oil that is being put into storage right now. And imagine if the entire storage facility is gonna be completely filled up and still the demand that is expected to pick up from say even Q3 to be optimistic is gonna be picking up and still gonna be much lower than the supply that's available at that point in time. The amount of volume of oil that is kept in storage needs to be consumed first before the new production can be brought into consumption into the, the consumption that is existing right now. So we are looking at year, years from now before we can see a normalization between the supply and demand at this point in time. So in terms of prices, if we are to go by the, the, the futures pricing, I think estimates are that this price range is expected to stay under $30 per barrel range till almost for the whole of 2020 and maybe a minimum recovery post that uh, in 